If you see things like this when you gauge your oil, it is a sign that something is wrong. On the surface of your oil, if you notice that it is foaming or that it is foaming on the surface of the oil, it is a sign that something is wrong. It simply shows that the volume of the air in the oil is too much. In this video, I'm going to tell you the causes and the implication of it right on your engine. Please pay attention to this video. If you gauge your oil and you notice on your deep stick things like this, as if there is water in the oil, it is not water, it is foaming, it is air. And that shows that the volume of the air in the oil is very high. What actually causes it? There are two major things that causes that. The first one is that when there is too much oil in your sump, or there is little oil in your sump, when you have some excess oil in your sump, it allows the crankshaft to be splashing it too hard. When the crankshaft is splashing it too hard or whipping it too hard, that increases the volume, the atmospheric volume of the air or causes air bubbles in the oil. And when that happens, it allows it allow the oil to foam. And you know that the oil is, the weight of the oil is much lighter compared to the weight of the air. So that makes the oil now to come to the surface of the, to come to the surface of the of the oil it will not be at the top why the main oil will not be at the down that is why sometimes when you gauge the oil it will not look as if the oil is over gauge like something like this not that the oil is over gauge it is become it is because there is foam on the oil it is the foam that makes it look as if the engine has been over gauge and this is very delicate to your engine why because when the oil is foaming, it reduces the viscosity of the oil. It reduces the quality of that oil. And that is detrimental. It will cause havoc to your engine. Because it will increase the chances of crankshaft damaging, bearing damages. Crankshaft bearing can, can damage because the oil is losing its, its, losing its lubricity. So what you have to do is that you have to drain the oil and replace the oil or reduce the volume of the oil so that the crusher will not be heating the oil too much. So when you have high quality or the two volume of oil in your song, that is usually be the result. It makes the oil to become foamy. And the manufacturer as use some additive to prevent the oil forming but simply because the crankshaft is heating it too hard it's whipping the oil too hard it's splashing it too hard it's increasing the chances of the oil becoming too foaming and it looks as if you have too much oil in your tank and when this happens another thing you are going to notice is oil leakage how when the oil is foaming it will increase the volume of the oil and when that happens the oil will become too much in your can case and the oil will now build pressure looking for means to escape that is why if nothing is done you usually have oil leakage simply because the volume of the oil is as rises so when you put your dipstick and you gauge your engine and you notice that the oil, uh, the level of the oil has increased beyond normal, then you notice air bubbles on the dipstick. It's a sign that the air is foaming, that the expressions of air in the, in the oil. Another thing that can also be the cause of that is that when there is clearance between your meter and your crankshaft when there's little clearance between it when the clearance is excessive it can also in causes 
pressure in your crankcase. And when the pressure in the crankcase, it will also increase the level, the, the presence of the air in your oil. And that will be very detrimental or cause damage to your engine. So you need to make sure that you check the level of the oil. So in as much as you notice that the level of the oil is too high, then you need to reduce it so that it will not bring air into your oil. But you need to know that there is usually 10% of oil in the mineral oil. And when you have 10% of atmospheric pressure of air in your oil, it will not become visible. It is seen normal at this stage. But when the volume increases to 30%, then it will become notable. It is then you will now see it foaming on the surface of the oil. At that point, it is very detrimental. When the pressure of the oil is increases, the presence of the air is, will also increases. So to avoid this, avoid overfilling your detroit engine with excessive oil thanks for watching this video how are you going to know